Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. Uh, I'm Mark from Robotic. So today we're gonna basically uh, go through the EPIC and AirPIC, how to program it. Uh, we're gonna go over all the parameters, uh, how to set up it. And at the end, we're gonna uh, do a simple pick and place uh, using EPIC. So first thing, once the URCAP is installed, we need to go uh, into the installation tab. Uh, under the URCAP vacuum, we're gonna scan it to make sure it's exactly the same thing as the gripper. So we scan it to make sure it's working. If we go under the UR toolbar, so we can just test it, make sure it's working well. As we can see, it's working well. Uh, UR toolbar, so again, it's the same thing as the active drive and the, 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 the two finger gripper. So we have a toolbar here to use uh, with different parameter. Basically, uh, we can test what we have to do. We have the grip, we have the release, uh, we have an automated mode, automatic mode. Uh, basically, this uh, parameter, uh, the automatic mode basically will set up all the parameters uh, automatically, so you don't have to worry about uh, the, the vacuum level. If we enter into the custom mode, the advanced setting, uh, we have the maximum vacuum, we have the minimum vacuum, and we have the timeout. Uh, basically, the maximum vacuum is the target that we're going to uh, want to reach, the vacuum level that we're going to want to reach. Uh, note that for EPIC, the maximum le vacuum level is 80%. 100% is a, basically the, a complete void. Uh, so we won't be able to go over 80% for EPIC. Minimum vacuum, uh, basically, there's two things with the minimum vacuum. Uh, for object detection, we need to reach a minimum vacuum. So the minimum vacuum, uh, the first goal of it is that. And then, uh, basically, how it works, so when we start the pump, we're gonna try to reach a maximum vacuum. And when it's reached, the pump will stop and the vacuum level will go down slowly uh, depending on the porosity of the material. Then when we're gonna reach the minimum vacuum, the pump will kick in and start again. So we're gonna try again to reach a maximum vacuum. So basically, we're just gonna do a little curve like this. So, so the timeout, what it's meant for basically is when we, the pump kicks in, the vacuum level will go high and, uh, higher and higher. If we reach a minimum vacuum level, that means we have an object detection. If we don't reach it, that's how. That's where the timeout will c uh, comes in. And if, for example, uh, here we have three uh, three thousand milliseconds. After two uh, two thousand milliseconds, if we don't reach a minimum vacuum, the pump would just stop, and there will be a, 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 an error or a, an action to do with the robot. That means the object is not detected. Uh, also, we have the continuous grip option. So basically, uh, this option we just make sure that the pump is always in. Uh, we won't save energy with it. The pump will always be at its maximum and always going to try to 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 get more and more vacuum. So this one can be useful if you want to do quick demos or just make it work quickly. And if also you have a really porous material, you might need to use uh, the continuous grip. Then we have the two the two buttons, so the grip button, so you can test your part. We have the release one. And then at the bottom, we have the RTV, which is the real-time vacuum. Uh, basically, it's going to give you the, uh, the, the real-time vacuum. So with the UR toolbar, UR plus toolbar, you can test it. So if we test it right now, and we gripped it, so we can see we reach 86% of vacuum. So that's, uh, that's a parameter that you could use uh, to set the minimum and vacuum level in your program. So you can test it with the UR toolbar, and then you know uh, how, how much vacuum level that you need. So now that we know how the, the, the UR cap is working, how the parameter has to be set, so let's do a quick pick and place program. So first step, we're going we're gonna to set up a own position. So let's do a basic move J, first waypoint. Let's say it's, this is our own position. Then we can do a, an approach position. So so this could be our approach position. So now for the pick for the pick position, we're going to do a move L to be perfectly straight. Set position, we're just going to go down. Here we go. After the move L, we need to use the vacuum node. Vacuum. So from here, it's pretty much the same thing as the UR plus toolbar. So 
uh, right here. We have the same parameter, so we can go into the advanced mode. We have the maximum, minimum, vacuum. We have the timeout, continuous grip, and we also have the wait for object uh, detection. So it works the exact same way. Uh, for this specific example, we're going to stay in automated mode uh, since we don't need to really go deeper into the, the, the parameters. We're going to set up uh, select grip. Then we can do uh, another move L to be the exit position. Set waypoint. We can go straight up. Then we can do a move J to go. We can to go at the pay place position. Then another move L for the place position. So we're going to be perfectly straight. So if we go down. And then the vacuum node again. Let's put it here for a release. And then we're going to still need another move L for the exit position. So perfectly straight again. Set waypoint. Hit the button play. So we uh, wanted to do a quick demo with the AirPick. So basically, we replace the EPIC. We install uh, all the hardware. We uh, also add the air supply directly through the AirPick. Uh, basically, it's work pretty much the same way. We go into the installation file. We scan, we scan the, the, the vacuum grippers. We can see AirPick. We know that it's working. For the programming, the ROCAP is the exact same one as the EPIC, so we, have this, we still have the same parameter, so maximum, minimum, vacuum, we have the timeout, continuous group, so everything works the same way. And if we press play on the program, 